Uh, I'm up Man <laughs> I'm naked <laughs> No! No! Shut up! Don't want to go on a telly. Telly's, telly's for willies. <laughs> I want to go on the telly. Do I have a vlog plan for you today, guys? Um, I am going to be going to the best place in the whole wide world, Dorothy. I'm going to Cardiff! <laughs> but first things first, wiki wiki juice. <laughs> I feel fresh as a daisy! So the plan for today. Don't worry. <laughs> and out of the darkness and into the light. But on a more serious note, um, I don't know where this vlog is going to take me today. I'm going to go to Cardiff and look for the best brownies in all of the land. Good morning. Good morning. Morning. What you got? What's that? Brownie. Who? Uh, Who is it? Brownie. A boy or a girl? Boy. Good. Can't have you playing with girls' toys, can we? Yeah. After about three weeks of them being in the box, today I am wearing my new trainer. My other ones I had for about four years and they have holes in them and it gets wet. These are not too bad, they look really comfortable. But they're very, very white. So I'm going to wear them today and um, hopefully not get them too dirty on the trek into uh, school. We're going. On We're going on an adventure, isn't we? I am. <laughs> You're not. You're going to school. My keys. Mm, what a beautiful day. What a beautiful, gloomy, cold, freezing, icy day. There we go. That one about. Come on. Bye. Bye. I'm not locking the door. We <sighs> always hitting my camera for. Let's go. And we're off. So uh, one thing I'm quite conscious of with my vlogs is my breathing. I find that I breathe really heavy and deep. What? Um, so I will control my breathing and I will try not to breathe. No, but I will try and not breathe as much. I don't know what it's gonna be like vlogging in Cardiff Town. I don't think I'll be this energetic. I'll be quite shy and a little less confident, but I'm doing it, so. Brownies! Yeah, so that's the plan. I'm gonna go Cardiff and look for the best brownies in all of the land. I don't know why. Um, I shouldn't be on any sugar. So uh, sugar's bad for you, but it makes me full of energy. I just made somebody's day, and there's a little gate that I just jumped over and I fell, and I landed on my ass. And then um, all the cars were looking at me, and it was quite embarrassing. Wasn't it, Logan? Didn't Daddy just fall over? What did you say when Daddy fell? I don't know. Did you laugh? No. Why not? It was funny. I would have laughed if it was you. <laughs> my ass is killing them. You know, I'm a, I'm a big lump. Come on, come on. I, Logan, I gotta go in your sack. So here's a sentence you're not gonna hear me say very often. But my ass is killing me! I did not fall on that bloody floor. I wish I, Logan had the camera. I should have given him the camera. I knew I was going to fall. 
I thought, well, I'm not going to break my leg, am I, if I jump over this fence? And uh, I almost uh, broke my back, so a bit of fun, in it? I was a little bit embarrassed, but um, that's the way you cookie crumble. Uh, next month, I've decided to go ahead and do Movember to raise awareness for uh, males um, prostate cancer and testicular cancer. I am having a full shave. Um, I'm having no sugar. I am having no meat. And I am having no carbonated drinks. So that is a massive challenge. And I'm going to be vlogging everything. Um, you'll be updated every week. So um, keep an eye out for that, guys. And yes, apart from that, we're going to enjoy our day into the beautiful Cardiff city. And we're just going to see where, where it goes. I don't, I don't know what's happening. Um, I don't know where I'm going for food. Do you mind? I'm trying to vlog here. Okay, babes. I've got to wait uh, 20 minutes from the bus. So I'm going to um, get some breakfast in the uh, the most British uh, breakfast place in the world. Greg. A little veggie. Anyway. Hey, little egg and breakfast box. I'm going to get a pasty though. Delicacy for breakfast. The Greg's pasties are the bomb. Not so nice. I'm gonna have a week. I'm gonna have a week. I'm gonna have my best. Mmm. Hey. That was a mighty fine, and I'm gonna lift down one floor because why not? It was open, so I stand in here. So, just a quick pit stop in Land Rumley to go see my pops. I got him some some goodies from the shop. Basically, um, I got his cheese biscuits, some cherry bake rolls, some angel slices, and some coffee, some coffee, some cappuccinos. So, uh, yeah, so. I'll do that, then I'll uh, go see him for about 10, 20 minutes, half hour, and then we'll go into town and just see where the day takes us, because at this moment in time, there is no plan. And I don't think vlogging with no plan is a good thing, because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> so we'll just see what happens with the day. yoo It's the sex police! Come to me. I see you. You better have clothes on. You bastard! I get you, mate. <laughs> Hi, Daddy. <laughs> I'm off now, buddy. I'll see you later. Yeah, okay. Stop, stop. It's not very nice, is it, mate? Yeah. It's not very nice. You. <laughs> You're famous. Very this is my daddy. This is my daddy. And he told me to F off. Right, I'll see you later. Yeah, okay. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Ta-ra! So I don't know if you can see this, but in the house behind me, <laughs> so the window there where my hat is, there's someone looking at me and it's really creepy and I don't want to look back. Oh, so creepy. As you know, I've got no plan. So I'm just wandering around. And this is why wandering around is a good thing. Because I just want to show you the view. This is from the top of like Lamarami. I think you'll be able to see the Lamarmy Hall where it was in my Lamarmy vlog. Just have a look at this view. Are you ready? Now, I know it don't really look much on the camera, but it's just amazing. It is a shame that this little fly 
It is a shame that all the, the clouds are gloomy. But this is just lush. Imagine living up here. And these houses just looking, seeing that every day. Imagine what kind of sunsets and sunrises you see. I don't know where the sun sets or sunrises, by the way. I'm guessing it's, I'd like to think it's over on those, the mountain over there. But over there, you can't really see it. But um, in the distance over there is Cumbran. And below it is Newport, it's over there somewhere. Obviously, not just by there. And the other day when I had a little walk, look. Oh, it looks so different. Oh, this is weird. You could used to be able to see the school there. And because obviously the school is gone, it's just, just nothing. That looks weird. Never the, I've been up here since the school been knocked down. Weird. Smell that beautiful Cardiff air. That's right guys, we are now in Cardiff city centre. I'm just going to show you why Cardiff City Centre is probably one of the best city centres in the world. I know Edinburgh has an amazing city centre because it has something on top of a hill, which I'm going to show you our one. And there we go, that is Cardiff Castle right there. Um, I don't know any history about the castle. Um, I think it was built by the Normans. So this here is Queen Street, I believe. Cardiff's such a nice little town. Got a cool little castle here. It'd be cool if there was like a bit more water running through it, maybe. And then we've got Queen Street here. That's Queen Street. I spent a lot of nights walking down here drunk. Vomiting. These were phone box by here. Where um, I drunkly was speaking to a girl and I was vomiting. I think we are gonna have a little wander through uh, the good old Cardiff Market. Um, the good thing about Cardiff Market, if you've ever been in here, you are welcomed by the um, by the smell of fish, because it's got the fish market straight straight in your face, and they've got some cool butchers. Let's see if we can find um, any cool places in here that sell brownies, because I'm craving a brownie. Gone to find some brownies. You would think if anywhere in Cardiff is gonna sell uh, homemade brownies, it's gonna be the market. Some of these places have been around forever. This cool like bookshop. It's awesome. It's awesome. You normally got like along that end you've got all the butchers. Nothing like that. You got like a little spice on it, look. Sorry. <laughs> like an umbrella stand. That looks fun. Why am I telling you? You can clearly see what these things are. Brownies. Any brownies? I want like a chocolate. Oh, look at the shop. Look at this place. It's awesome. What an awesome shop. Yeah, look, you can get... I'm not going to put any of them on. Put them all on. So that was the market. It wasn't really in depth. We got the uh, the idea of what it's all about. You know, I don't think there's anything really that exciting in there. Well, this part of Cardiff all used to be um, the the road used to be all the way down. A bit like uh, that. I think you could walk down there now. Like you say, you can walk down now. Used to be a road you wouldn't be able to walk down there a long time ago. Some some Cardiff street performance. into uncharted territory which is not a place I've really been down as much as the town I used to hang around but you got like they call this place Chippy Lane because basically you've got all the clubs this side that's what a lot of people used to get drunk and then afterwards you just end up down there you will get yourself some chips or curry and chips what I used to get was chips cheese and curry there's a chip down there called Dorothy's and it's stunning that's right Dorothy named after you I just want to find. Oh, there's a statue! 
I found a statue, so I'm going to go to the statue and have a look at the statue and I'm going to find out what it's about and I'm going to let you guys know because that's what this vlog's supposed to be all about. It's supposed to be informative. And I'm supposed to tell you guys stuff about Cardiff. But I don't really know a lot. I just lived here all my life. I live in Newport now. And I can't even tell you much about Newport. But there's a statue with a guy and he's got a cape. He looks like Batman without the mask on, so... It looks really cool, so let's go and have a look. He looks like Batman, just without the cowl. I told you it was Batman. His name is John Ma Marcius of Butte. And that's when he died. He died in MDCGCXLI. If someone can tell me in the comments what that is, I haven't got a clue. But he looks pretty badass. I am the White Knight, John Mar Ma Ma Marcus. Marius? Well, it's a butterfly! Going in his pants! <laughs> Dirty butterfly! They look like Minecraft trees! This one's for Logan. <laughs> I don't know what these places are called, but town's behind me. We're walking down to the bay, and this walk is actually pretty pretty. Pretty pretty? Pretty pretty! <laughs> Look how pretty it is. It's, it's, it's like my favorite time of the year. Because all the trees lose their leaves. Like getting ready for winter, you know? Getting ready to shed their skin. And I don't know what I'm talking about, to be honest. I, I just like autumn. I don't even know why their leaves fall off. Do they fall off because it's winter? Because they know winter's coming? I don't know. Winter is coming. Yeah, so this is currently what I'm walking down. It's very pretty, as you can see. And uh, this is the way to the bay. To Cosmo. So after my lovely little journey, we are at Cardiff Bath. It's spelled bay, but I like to pronounce it Bath. <laughs> and we're gonna go in there. Just have a look in there. The Millennium Center, I think it's called. Let's have a wander around and see if we can, uh, see if we can sneak into one of the booths. <laughs> piece of art. Some sort of artwork. I'm going in. No entry. It says no entry. Check. Nothing in there. This place is so cool. So we're just gonna go up the end and just have a little look. See if we can get into the wall. Trying to be security somewhere though. To stop me in my tracks. Here we go. It's locked. Ooh. Hi guys, you okay? Yeah, Just exploring. Ah, right, okay. Sorry guys. Oh, right, okay. Damn. Oh well, that's that done. On to Cosmo! Well, you know, I wasn't being a nuisance, I just having a little exploration. I tried getting into the hall to see what it's like. I did it before, the doors open, I went in. There we go, got some fans there, guys. Got some fans watching me while I, while I vlog, like I give a crap. So yeah, there we go, there's another statue. This one doesn't look much like Batman, but more of a confused man who was looking at a dirty material and his mother walked in. Yeah, this part of the lake, you know, mate. It's all man-made. What they did, they got little buckets and spades from the sea, which is over there, and they scooped it into this big hole here, and they tipped it all in, they did. I know they did, because I was involved in the planning of it. Ooh, cannons! I think they're real cannons. Oh, there's a boat. So this is Cardiff Bay, everybody. 
as you can see, it's very beautiful. And this kind of weather is also really nice. These are, they look like real cannons. Look up the knob. He's going out to sea. He's not going to get far though, is he? Oh, that's such a nice shot. Right. Focusing on the boat. Look at that shot. That's going to be my opening shot. See the Thumbnail. Thumbnail. See, I did say I wanted a bit more energy in my vlogs, and I think I should put a bit more energy into this one. Screaming at random places in Cardiff, you know, just a little more confidence and stuff. This cloud don't look very happy, does it? Just come out of nowhere. It's taking the sun away. Come back, sun. I want to be bathed in your sunlight. Yes. <laughs> So this is Cardiff Bay, it is pretty awesome. Um, don't drink the water though, not unless you want to grow an extra finger. Or an extra willy. <laughs> the moment everyone's been waiting for. And all you can eat is Chinese from an amazing place called... Cosmo. That's even if it's open. That's even if it's still there, I don't even know if it's still there. Don't look like it is. The time right now is three o'clock. Guess what time it shuts? Three o'clock! <laughs> I really wanted one. The bay would be a bad idea looking at the bay. Uh, Tesco. Once upon a time, this used to spurt out water. I don't know why it don't do it no more, but I'm gonna go next to it, because I think it might be a cool shot if I stand below it and film from upwards next to it. So we'll see what that is all about. Is that a cool shot? I don't know. There's two of me! <laughs> okay. That, again, is not the best shot. It just looks like it goes on forever though. I don't know if that is a... a uh, supposed to look like that. Uh, so just got the tickets to watch Joker in your IMAX. So that don't start till 10 to 5. So um yeah, awesome. I'm down in uh, the Odeon in Cardiff. So I'm in the Odeon now and apparently you've got the premier seats and you've got the gallery seats. And I'm just gonna see what the gallery seats are all about. I'm paying for the gallery. Okay, they are much more comfortable, to be honest. And there you go, just finished watching The Joker. Guys, the film is absolutely incredible. Um, I've seen it twice now. Um, it is definitely worth a watch. It's so much better than the cinema. Um, because you're surrounded by issues you in, in the film, like, you know? Obviously, I want to talk about it, but I can't. Because I know there's people on this channel, which, um, and a spud boy, Rick and Spud by Ben and Spud by Craig. I know that none of you guys have watched the film, but I don't know, you, you might have, I don't know. But seriously, incredible, incredible film. Um, obviously, I want a sequel. Um, obviously, I want to see the Joker fight Batman. Don't think it's gonna happen. I kind of wish they don't do it either because they might spoil it, but the film is pretty incredible, so yeah, so that's all done guys, that's the end of the vlog. Hope you enjoyed my little trip into Cardiff. It wasn't the best vlog, vlog, but uh, you know, it was something. Hey, look at that light. So yes, yeah, so now I'm just going to walk back into uh, Cardiff now, and get a train and a bus back to Newport. <laughs>